show you some really effective stretches for the spine. More specifically, we're stretching the tissues surrounding the spine. So we're stretching the muscles and working on elongating the spine. At no point should you compress the spine. So you want to create space between the vertebrae rather than compress the vertebrae and try to move it in that position, which could cause injury. So the idea is to elongate the spine. We want to stretch in all four directions. So backward, forward, right, left. And very important that you work at your level. Don't push too deeply, too quickly. Rather learn to relax into the position. You're going to stand with feet about hip distance apart. You can put them closer, but you want to have a little bit of stability. So about hip distance or slightly less. And then some people will do this with interlacing the hands or even in yoga they may teach to elongate, which is perfectly fine. What I like to do is interlace the fingers and then press the palms up to the ground. Sorry, not to the ground, but to the ceiling. Okay, now from here, you want to squeeze your head with your biceps. So you're not going to be like this. That's not effective. You have to use effort to push, really push and elongate. So you're already starting to extend the spine here. Now from here, as you inhale, you're going to come up and over to the side. Up and over. And it's very important that you keep your chest up, you keep your eyes forward and your chest lifted. You don't want to start doing this. So as a cue, you're going to, just to test that you're doing it correctly, you're going to come against the wall and you're going to keep your back pressed against the wall. And now as you come to the side, your shoulders and back stay on the wall the whole time. And that way you have the correct position. You should not be rounding forward okay so from here the way most people do it is they're going to come opposite so if my hands come to the right my hips will come to the left but what i'm doing here is from this position i'm shifting my weight to the other leg so my upper body's facing the right and i shift my weight to the right hip and then from here exhale and pulse Pushing down with the top hand, pulling down with the bottom hand. So it's exit. Okay, back to center, reposition. Same thing, other side. So now I come up and over to the left, keep the chest lifted. Now shift my weight to the left leg and again pulse. Chest lifted. So that's working the side. Now from here bring the palms together, keep the elbows locked. Okay. Now it's backwards. Okay, In the backward bending, very important, the knees stay fully extended. So I'll show you the side angle. Knees are fully extended, not bent. Extended. Hips extended, so not butt back. Hips forward. And drop the head back. Look at the ceiling. If you're more flexible, you can even look at the wall behind you. Okay. Now from here, Pull the arms back so that the biceps are in line with the ears. Okay, so side angle. Pull the arms back so the biceps are in line with the ears. Now from here, opposition. Upper body pushes back. Hips push forward. And pulsing. Exhale. Push. 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 Now pull down with the hands as you push the hips forward. Push, 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 push. Now use your abdominal muscles to lift, returning to the upright position. 
From here, you're going to separate the hands. Okay? So, separate the hands. Now, from this position, the palms are pushing and the fingers are pulling. So, push here, pull here, and you'll feel the stretch coming all the way across. Okay? Push with the palms, pull with the fingers. So we did right, left, backward, now forward. Chest reaches forward, butt pushes back, lengthening the spine. When you get to about parallel, you relax the shoulders, drop the head, and fold. Okay, now from here, you're gonna squat down. Squat down, place your hands on the ground, and just lightly shift from one foot to the other. Okay. Hands stay on the ground, point the tailbone up to the ceiling, okay. and let's again squat down, see if you can go a little deeper now, bring your forearms towards the ground, okay. and just work at it, relax, see if you can touch your forearms to the ground here, okay. keep your hands on the ground, tailbone to the ceiling. Now we're going to go deeper. You walk your hands back between the legs. When the hands are behind you, okay, when the hands are behind you, you turn the fingers around so the fingers point to the wall behind you. Okay. Now your elbows are going to be on the inside of the knee. You use your elbows to push back until the knees are straight. Okay, now from here, use the strength of your upper body and pull your chest down towards the ground. So pull, 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 tuck your chin, pull, 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 pull. Release the hands. One more time, squat down. Let's see if you can get even deeper. tailbone up to the sky. Now coming out of the stretch, you're going to slowly roll from the tailbone, from the tailbone, slowly roll one vertebra at a time. The head comes up last. Inhale, reach up, reach as high as you can. One more gentle back bend, look at the wall behind you. And exhale. And then from here, just a few twists from side to side. So this is a stretch I like to do every day, keeping the spine supple and healthy and pain free. And then just kind of shake everything out. Okay, so try that. Start really slow. Work at a comfortable range of motion. Don't force things. And you'll find that your flexibility and your spine will start feeling great.